Every year until she died, the American comedian Steve Harvey sent a television to his sixth grade teacher for Christmas. Why? Was she particularly accident prone? <laughs> <laughs> Needs a new TV every year. I love the idea that two weeks before Christmas, somehow, she just smashed the TV. Like, <laughs> Steve, hello? Yes. I mean, I've been in A&E four times just from cooking. So, you know, it could happen. How How recently? I mean, over the last few years. I'm dangerous with sharp objects and hot objects and flat objects. <laughs> and, and, and objects. My wife can relate. <laughs> well, Steve Harvey, uh, I guess he's on Family Feud. Maybe maybe there's some feuding sixth graders <laughs> in her class. Maybe he's donating it to her so that she could donate it to someone. But I have a feeling the answer is probably more obvious and subtle. What if it's just like, this sounds, I don't know, this sounds kind of morbid, but like, what if she only lived one year and he just sent one TV every year until she oh. died? Oh, I think you're onto something there. Maybe. The, the TV was cursed and <laughs> fell on her. No, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, uh, that is not what happened here. There were was, was okay. several years and several televisions involved. Okay. I do appreciate that you've come in as a new person here and immediately drilled down on the idea that some of these questions may have some subtle tricks in them. Like, you've, you've got that right away. Skeptical. Did, did he intend to send the same, a, t a new television every year? Or was it accidental? Oh yeah, this was deliberate. This wasn't just some order that his uh, personal assistant happened to get wrong. Do we know the make and model of the TV? Was it like a new TV every year or was it just like, <laughs> oh, I found a new TV at, at Goodwill? Uh, it wouldn't be relevant to the question. I, th I, I don't know how much it was, but uh, he, he's certainly a man who can afford to, to give a TV away. Hmm. hmm. It does seem a bit over the top to send one every year, though. Maybe it's like a smart TV and he loaded up some sort of like photo album on it for for her it's like instead of a christmas card she gets a christmas tv <laughs> well he might have put some sort of album together or, or said she should watch certain things on it yes it makes it sound like he was like storing like something on the tv and sending it but that doesn't make sense i don't he know was, it's more like i think he'd stored something up himself there what <laughs> did he buy the tv every year to send to her, or had he already pre-purchased all the TVs? I, I don't actually know the answer to this question, but I believe he just, he caused one to be delivered to her house. So it's not some weird, like, television stockpile that it got going on? <laughs> no, but Steve Harvey's television stockpile is coming to NBC this fall, so... <laughs> <laughs> and she wasn't, like, returning it to him every year? Uh, she could have done. She could have mm. donated it. She, uh, mm. it's, it's not actually recorded here what she did with it. She probably wouldn't have wanted to have kept it. I mean, that's quite a lot. <laughs> televisions. It's far too many televisions. Why would you do that? Of course, my brain just goes straight to like, yeah, she's going to stack them all together and make a giant jumbotron or something. Like, that's like, <laughs> unfortunately, the first thing my mind goes to, but that's obviously not right. Man, I want to do that now. I know. Well, Emily's an engineer. What would you make with 20 televisions? 20 televisions? Oh, man. <laughs> what kind of gaming setup would that be, right? Have like <laughs> surrounding semi-circle televisions that'd be kind of cool <laughs> i've seen one of those rigs with google earth attached to it they, uh, it was a google demonstration of the thing they had like oh, 20 flat panel tvs to make a full 180 degree and then just a big controller for google earth Whoa. so it hmm. sort of felt like you were flying in a way that would have been a lot cheaper if they just put a vr headset on it but yeah. <laughs> it's not as fun to talk about later so the teacher didn't really want these televisions in fact i, I think she was probably getting pretty tired of them was she like using a part of the TV or something like taking them apart? I don't know. I don't know if she was using any of it. I think I think she could have probably just taken the box and gone and given that away immediately. So he wants to show her something and he's doing it in a really inefficient way, perhaps out of spite. I wonder, like, is he doing this specifically because she doesn't want to? Oh, you know what? I bet she never had any TVs when he was in sixth grade. And he was like, this is the worst class ever. All of our classmates get TVs in their classrooms and we're not getting anything. I wanted to watch Bill Nye today, but no. You are 90% of the way there, Ren. It is spite. <laughs> it is definitely a point being made, but that wasn't quite the point. What might have stuck in Steve Harvey's head for so long that he's sending a television to his sixth grade teacher every year? Was it like 
the teacher didn't believe he would be anything, so he keeps sending her TVs to be uh, like, look, I'm on TV. Ah. What specifically might she have said? Kip, you look like you've got this. I assume it's that he would never make it on television. Yep. The teacher said to him in sixth grade, you will never make it on television. And thus his his adult revenge for this is to send a television to her every year. That is the level of spite <laughs> that I aspire to. I love it. All right. All right. My notes here uh, say he had a stutter at school. So he wanted to be on television. He wrote that as part of a school assignment. His teacher thought it was ridiculous enough to phone home and ring his parents to say that he was a smart aleck. And his revenge for that, many years later, is to send a television every year to that teacher. 